Hey Gemini, it's y'all. I'm back with another reading. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Let's swim. Let's just, we got for the Gemini's. For the Gemini's. <laughs> Alright, let's see what's going on. What's going on with the Gemini's? Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. North Node, South Node, Jupiter. Give me a message for the Gemini, please. What's going on with Gemini's? Oh, you know what? I'm not going to start off with these. I'm going to start off with the twin flame. Any message for the Gemini, please? Ooh, okay. Okay, so it looks like somebody wants to return to you. They want to return to you after you have gone through some type of ascension. Like, you done evolved. And they still over here stuck. <laughs> it's like, now they want to return. After you done evolved, and now they're stuck. Okay, so. Yeah, okay, whatever. <laughs> oh, y'all saw that? Wow, okay. Solitude. It could be a Virgo. Um, but you've been distant from distant from this person. Yeah, this person that went through some type of metamorphosis, some type of awakening, then now they want a fresh start with you. <laughs> All right. So yeah, they want to return. They had some time to think. We got the answer is no. <laughs> Cannot make this shit up. Okay, we got the answer is no. The answer is no. They're afraid. They're afraid of this union because you guys could be twin flames, but y'all going through y'all separation period. Okay, y'all know how the twin flame thing go. It's a runner chaser game. Okay, the thing about the twin flame journey is that it's way different from the soulmate journey. The twin flame journey is definitely going to teach you a lot of lessons. Like the runner chaser phase is definitely has its twists and turns. And it also has its ups and downs and life lessons. Okay, so while you and this person was separated, um, I feel like you've evolved. They're stuck. They have this fear of commitment. Um, they have this fear of I feel like of committing. They have this fear. I told you that they're stuck. They be wearing a mask, pretending like they not, but they really are this stuck. They try to paint this picture of like like they're not, but they are. They they want to ask you for some type of forgiveness. So they want you to forgive them for something, and they want to return. I told you, Cindy. See, now they're saying, "Look, I understand you done, you done, you done grow a lot, but I've been observing you. This give me a chance to say yes, especially if you got a family with this person, like, especially if this person is like your baby daddy or your baby mama or somebody that you were married to, separated from. Regardless, they want a family now. They want to offer you that like family life." <laughs> like they like let's have some more kids look at this when i said that we got tribe and ch and uh inner child and tribe they want to have a bunch of kids and they trying to like reinvent themselves with you and you like uh, mm. the answer is no <laughs> all right so they're coming in they're taking action towards you they have some time to think of their next move how they're going to come towards you They've been contemplating. And they are going through some type of awakening. They definitely are. We got contemplation and awakening. So they are going through an awakening. They are realizing that they want to return to you. Yep. 
They want to return. Why do they want to return all of a sudden? Like, where is this coming from? Oh, y'all know we're getting, we getting ready to go. Um, we're in the pre-shadow phase of Mercury retrograde. We're already in Venus retrograde. So lovers from the past and all of that, they coming back. This has been a common theme. For all the reads. <laughs> Why is the return card here? Why do they want to return? Oh, gosh. Gosh, they got so much to say. They got so much they want to say. Hell, we got the boat. Okay, they've been away from you for a while. But they're returning back to you. Yeah, both. They want to, like, change. They want to heal. They want to be, like, lighthearted. Um, like, bring some, some fun type of energy. They're traveling back to you. The thing about it is, is this person a snake. <laughs> That's the thing about it. This person is a snake. Gotta watch this person. Y'all watch them. What action is, are they taking? Yeah, this person, they willing to come take a chance, take a risk with you. Um, they don't mind taking a gamble here and there. So... They're going to play the, what's in, the, the deck, the hand that they have, they're going to play it, okay? They don't mind taking a risk. I wouldn't trust, I wouldn't be so quick to trust this individual. They gonna have people calling their phones. Like, if you decide to to give this person a chance right off the bat, there's not gonna. Don't expect for this to go right off the bat and then just them just already prepared and ready for you. They're gonna have people calling their phone karmics and other different energies that they've been dealing with calling their phone. So they're gonna be getting a lot of messages. A lot of income and calls coming in. We got kisses, like people that they done been dealing with. We got seduction. <laughs> if they're a drug dealer, we got addiction here. Like, I'm just saying, like, they got a lot of income and calls. You might want to get the whole tea on this person before you let this person back in because this person, like, you got to get to really know them. Why is the answer no here? Why is the answer no? I'm telling you, you feel like you feel like this person be wearing a mask, and I feel like they do too. You feel like this person got two sides. Yeah, see, you've grown a lot. This person wants to come around so they can mirror their energy, so they can come in like they're your soulmate. They want to mirror your energy. They see that you have definitely evolved. You are in a happy state, expansion. Um, like they they really have seen the evolution. Okay, they see where you come from, how much you've grown, what results really look like. They've been thinking about you. They've been thinking about, you know, how they hurt you, what they did to you. They could have had some type of addiction. Yeah, they, they realize that they need to make some better choices. You got healthy choices with awakening. 
So, yeah, look at this. Death and ascending. They do want to evolve. They really do want to ascend. But they're coming around you to get your energy. That's what I feel like. I feel like right off the bat, this person isn't willing to come in on a clean slate. They still have a lot of baggage that they're coming in with. So you need to make sure that you kind of like, you know, check their intentions to see if, you know, just to see it out, peep it out first before you jump ahead first. But I feel like a lot of you already know this person. You know this person always wearing a mask. You can't really, you got to just accept it, for, accept the person for who they are and what they've shown you um, until they show you something different. All right, so that's the message that I got for y'all. Y'all let me know what's going on in the comment section. If you are new to the channel, be sure to click the bell to subscribe so you won't miss out on future videos, all right? So, until next time, Gemini's, ciao for now.